Assalamu alaikum dear friends how are you i hope you all are fine today's our topic is about the creation of new style for mandalay so let's begin bismillahir rahmanir rahim before creating a new style let me tell you about how to search for uh, your desired style and if it is available online then how to install it you just need to search for the style you want to use as you know there are thousands of styles available on mendeley uh, style library if you search your desired style on mendeley style library there are two possibilities the first possibility is that your exact match will be available in the library and the second possibility is that a closely related style may be available it might be 99% 90% or maybe less uh, similar to your style if exact match is available install that and use it and if closely matching style is available then just edit it download and then install now let's search for your desired style and if available then let's install it for this purpose you will have to sign in to your mendeley desktop first and then you will have to sign in to the mendeley website online and then search for your desired style the desired style can be searched with two different methods you can search it from within the mendeley desktop or from the mendeley website in both of these methods you can search your desired style by name for example you can search for a vancouver style you can search for howard style in the web page method there is another way of searching your desired style is that searching your desired style by example i will tell you later on how you search your desired style by an example after you search your desired style and you find it then you will have to install that style i will tell you both these methods that is from within the mendeley desktop and through the web page method first let me show you the mendeley desktop method let's suppose you have already signed in to your uh, mendeley desktop as well as to the website to search for a new style go to view citation style and then more styles these are the already installed styles if you want to get another style go to this tab get more styles now here type the name of the style for example howard style as soon as you type the style name it will show the different kinds of styles that is relevant to your search term for example i want to install this emerald howard style so click this and then click this install button your style will be installed click done let's see howard emerald style more styles howard this is the style that we just installed now you can click this button to use this style click and this style is now selected and done now let us see the web page method as i told you in the beginning that through web page method you can search your desired style with two different methods that is by searching uh, with name of the style or searching by an example first let's search our desired style by name for this purpose open google and then type csl uh, mendeley our visual editor etc so let's suppose click csl mendeley and then click this one okay this is uh, our method number 1 uh, by searching the desired style by name so let's again search our style by typing howard here and then click enter so these are different kinds of styles that have appeared that are closely related to howard so howard reference format one this is elsewhere howard and this is also popular you can uh, click on this button to install this style or you can view the style or you can edit this so a little later i will tell you how to edit the style okay if this is the style that you want then just click this and install it now let me tell you another method searching by example this is search by example click here so this is our uh, example style and then there is our style so we want to search for this style copy the style 
go here remove this paste your style and uh, for example here in in text the citation is like for example like this and then search it so it will now find closely matching styles to your given style okay these are the styles that it had found from the mendeley library if this is the style that matches to your style you can just install it or you can edit this style okay now if you are unable to find a matching style then use csl editor to create your own style either from scratch or editing a closely related style method number 1 is laborious and complex method number 2 is easy and simple i will show you the easy method first you will have to find a closely matching style just as i told you a few moments ago for example you have already searched for your desired style you suppose didn't find the exact match of your style and you found this closely related style and now you want to edit it and make it exactly similar to your given style so click edit after this style is opened go to this example and click this citation number 2 and select journal article from here select this book and uh, chapter etc close this and you can see now that we have selected four articles and this will appear like this now let me click on this third one and let's select two for example these two and now you can see that our two articles if in citation they will appear like this with a comma in between them and a dash if they are more than two citations in a series first of all info has already been clicked over here now let's see what are there this is the title of this article now you can change this title to a new style name suppose this is a roshan title and you can also change the abbreviations to or s suppose and leave the other options as default okay then go to the global formatting options here in the window uh, below you will see the global formatting options okay the name form for example is long here you can make it short look the names of authors have become shortened i want to be in the long form and then end what should end look like like a text end here or an end with a symbol like this one you can change it let me choose this text option suppose these are the minimum number of authors after which your uh, author style will change to at all style for example you want uh, to keep these uh, authors to 5 now if the number of authors exceeds 5 then it will change automatically to at all style okay at all use first so how many author you want to show if the number of authors is more than 5 let's suppose it is 2 and then after 2 we want to use at all another important thing over here is the page range format how you want to show your pages look like like chicago style these or you can change it to expanded style 307 to 332 or you can change it to minimal this will become like this so which your style you want to use in your style you can select that style let's make it expanded so these were some of the important things in the global formatting options now let me tell you how you change other options over here first let's start from the inline citations let's suppose we want to click this one first as soon as you click this here the options will change okay now how you want these numbers to look like for example you can make them bold or you can make them italic also you can underline them you can use this superscript option you can use them as subscript for example like this you can enclose them in these quotation marks and if you want to change these brackets then click these brackets and you will see these brackets will appear here 
And if you want to delete these brackets, just remove them and see these brackets have now disappeared. And now you want them to be in the superscript form, you can change them to superscript and bold. Let's make them bold. What about this delimiter? You can, this is the comma delimiter. You can change it to semicolon. You can see now the semicolon has appeared here. You can change these things to like, like this and this parenthesis. Okay, when you have changed these inline citations, then go to this bibliography section. Now let me show you how you edit the author names. So here is the author name section. Just click this and then you can change the formatting of the author names. For example, you can make them bold. You can make them italic, underline, small caps. You can even uh, make them superscript or subscript. You want to use a prefix for author names. This will appear here. And if you want a suffix, then it will appear here. But we don't want these two things. So remove them. Okay, now we want to go to the specific names of authors. You can click this name here. And now let's see how what this delimiter work. For example, I want to remove this comma. And instead of comma, I want to use this semicolon. You can see now the semicolon has appeared between two author names. You can use something else. For example, you can use this pipe symbol and pipe symbol will appear here. You can give a space. Let me remove this and put a default comma over here. A comma has now appeared here. Any prefix or suffix you can put here. Okay, now name of the author, long or short. We want to keep them long. What about end? Should it be like end or a symbol? Now it has become symbol. I want to keep it in the text format. Okay, what if you want to change this dot after all the author names? Then look at here. Just go to the author macro. Click here. The whole block is now selected. You can see here the suffix is dot here. We can change this dot with other things. Suppose we want to make it this thing. And then after this, I want to add a space. You can see this has changed now to this thing. Okay, now editing the title section. For editing the title section, just click this title. Okay, title has now selected. You want to make bold, italic, underline, small caps, superscript, subscript, and close them into inverted commas, etc. Okay, a prefix or a suffix. Suffix is here, a dot. If you want to change it, you can change it to something else. So now it is a colon, or you can change it to a pipe symbol, suppose. After changing the title section, let's go to the journal section. This is the name of the journal. Let me click on this journal name. Now you can click this option, strip periods. So now dots will appear in between the different abbreviations of the journal, or you can click strip periods, the periods will be removed from the journal name. You can enclose the journal name in these inverted commas. You can make it bold or usually journal names or in italic. So let me make it italic. The text case is uh, in the title form. You can change it to lowercase. You can change it to uppercase. Or let me keep it in the title format. What should appear after the journal name? Let's suppose we want a dot after the journal name. So a dot will appear over here. You can either uh, add a prefix. For example, before the journal name, what thing do you want to appear? Let's suppose I want to put two dots before the journal name. After you have changed the journal names uh, section, then let's go to the editing date and year section. This is the date section. You can do all the formatting with date, all these things like bold, italic, or any other thing. You can add suffixes to it. For example, a dot could be added here, or you can remove it. 
Okay, you want to remove this uh, semicolon or change it, you just need to click this year date macro. After you click the year date macro, come here and delete this and replace it with a different thing. For example, a double semicolon. So a double semicolon will appear here. You can either enclose this year in parentheses. So now the year has been enclosed in parentheses. Now let's come to the volume and issue section. This is the volume and issue section. Click over here. You want to make this bold. And the, the suffix you can see over here is a colon symbol. You can uh, change this colon to something else. For example, dash and then a colon symbol. Okay, and at the end, we have editing the page number section. This is the page number section. After selecting the page number section, you can make it bold or italic. We already have talked about how to change this 332 to only simple 32 in the beginning in the general section. Okay, what about this last period at the end of each of the reference? For that purpose, you have to select the whole reference. Just click here and all the things will be selected. Now you can see here suffix is dot. You can change the end dot to something else. For example, it could be a hyphen. So now it has changed to hyphen. Okay, deleting a section. How you delete a section from your references? Suppose you do not want the page number section. Click the pages here. Now the pages have been selected. And now you can see here, you can just delete or add something. You, I want to delete the page number section. Click here, your page numbers will be gone. Okay, now the last thing, how to add a section. Okay, you want to add issue number. First select this thing, this whole group. Once the group is selected, to add a node, click this plus option, click this number, and then click this variable, enable. Once this is enabled, then go to click issue. So now an issue has been added over here. It is numeric. Okay, I want to enclose the issue inside these parentheses. And then I want to remove these dots in between the volume number and issue. So click this volume number and remove these things from here. Now you can see this will look like this now. After you are done with uh, editing, just go here, click style and then save the style. Click OK. OK, now download the style. Once your file is downloaded, then go to your Mandalay. Click view, citation styles, more styles, and then go here, click show in folder, drag this style, and leave it here. Your new style, Roshan style, will be added to your library, and it is selected now. Okay, now you can click use this style, and done. So this is done now and you can use this style in your thesis or in your document. So that was all for today about how to edit your desired style in Mendeley CSL editor, visual editor. So thank you for watching my video. Bye.